That stack of books behind me are currently all the books that I'm reading right now for software development. It covers topics anywhere from GitHub Actions, Web APIs, RabbitMQ, Enterprise Architecture, Design Patterns, and honestly, you could argue that reading a lot of this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but I think what makes it exciting is seeing how you can use it professionally and how you can use it to advance your career. And that's really where I draw excitement uh, honestly a lot of these books right because it's it's like a step above reading documentation you know what i mean reading documentation is about as dry as you can possibly get but books kind of takes it a little bit above that books is not that dry but it's it's just like entertaining enough for it to be readable and honestly when you read enough of them it becomes enjoyable because you see how you can apply the knowledge directly from the book to your professional life. I've literally had it where I've read a chapter in a book one morning and read something that I could directly use in my job that same day. And that like applicability of knowledge is just, for me, it's priceless. But two, it just makes me so much more motivated to read books because like for whatever reason, sometimes when I read documentation, I can just gloss over important parts uh, I can just miss stuff. And sometimes when you read like documentation, it's hard to apply it directly to what you're working on because it's like the raw, just like output of like, here's the base configuration and here's like, and that's it. Books kind of take it a step above that because it goes, okay, here's like, you know, the code, the configuration, whatever, but here's how you can apply it to the real world. And that application is what is is exactly what I'm trying to read about because that's you know what I'm doing professionally is I'm doing software development. So I want to read about how do you take a technology and apply it to the real world? What's this real scenario that I'm going to use this? And that's something that is so important. And I think it's so, I think that aspect of applicability is something that is is just missing from the current educational system, right? How often have you been in a math class where you're just going through problem after problem and you fail to see, you know, the applicability of it? It's like, oh, okay, why am I doing this problem again? Why do I have to do it 10 times over and all that stuff? And nobody ever tells you why it's important. Like nobody ever gives you the problems that you can solve with it. Like everybody's done the flagpole example of like angles of the sun and how, you know, how you can tell you know how tall a building is based off of the shadow cat you know all that stuff like that's like the most boring problem ever what if we made the problem about launching a rocket into space what if we made the problem about how do you handle like how do you build a distributed system to build a stock market like what if we actually made like big problems that people actually wanted to work on rather than just figuring out the height of a building or like a flagpole or like some just like super boring problem and that's like that's always an issue I've had with books and like the educational system is like, it's like they almost try to pick the most boring problems that you could possibly find. And it just completely drains you of any enthusiasm for the topic. When we're trying to do the opposite, we're trying to build enthusiasm for people about these, these things, right? We're trying to build enthusiasm for people to want to code. And so if you give them the most dry thing ever, why would they want to do that? And for me, that motivates me to illustrate and try to like portray why this career is exciting and what exciting problems you can work on, but it's only possible through knowledge and books is a pathway to learn the stuff that you need to know in order to work on the interesting problems, because it's very possible. It's very possible to work at one place and do the same thing your whole life and never venture out of the norm you know, never venture out of like the same code that you've been working in. You could work in V, you could do VB.net probably for the rest of your career. And while that might be good job security, it probably is not going to be the most interesting problem set that you could work on. But if you are aware of something like this, like if you're aware of some cutting edge problem that you know you want to do, all you have to do is learn about it and research and read about it and figure out how to get your foot in the door. And I feel like for me, books is a way to do that. But again, it's hard to find good books to read. Um, and it's also, you know, 
hard to find time sometimes too because the books are generally larger and so it takes a bit of time to go through and for me I would say sometimes like I have a hard time finding the applicability of some of the content I read in the books but I would say about 60 to 70 percent of the content I generally read from software development books I think I I can find an application of I can find an application to to my to my actual professional you know career and that to me is so powerful because I again I just like you know when you're doing like you know leak code and just like the algorithm stuff like that that all has its place and it's important to learn all that stuff but if you never supplement that with any anything like you know, that delves into system design or tackling just like real world problems, you're never going to, I don't think, find programming that exciting because you're always going to look at it as like solving some arbitrary, you know, algorithm problem. And, you know, that might be interesting to you and, you know, you may just want to do that. But for me, I have to look at it from a big picture perspective. I have to know like what's the larger problem that I'm actually trying to solve. And for me, like that's often learning what the business case is and what the the value of this thing that I'm building is, how much money is going to be generated by it, how much money are we going to be saving by implementing whatever it is. That's really where I think the more interesting parts about this career kind of stem from. But for whatever reason, that stuff's just not talked about that much. And I just don't know why. Like when you look up a tutorial, it's going to cover... Can, you know configuration syntax uh, set up your setting up your IDE and you know just general stuff like that but you, once you get that it's like okay then what <laughs> then what do we do with it you know what do we make what do we build well how do we apply this and finding the application is the hardest thing I think but for me the best resource that I've been able to find the true application is in books that's the best resource that i've been able to find personally that's just given me that application and so if you're looking for like motivation or enthusiasm to get into this career i would strongly suggest just reading as much as you can just reading as many software development books as you can and just trying to get as many different perspectives that you can get so that around this 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 job because there's so many different paths you can take and there's so many different problems that are out there waiting to be solved and it's really up to you to figure out which one do you want to try to solve that's all i got for today i'll see you in the next one